All right, neighbors, hello. Welcome to the Salt Creek lesson. This is going to be the arrangement, more or less. Here we go. And a one, two, three, four. Let's go through that a little bit more slowly. Here we go. Okay, so now the first thing we need to try to do is get it in our heads. And so one way that I recommend doing that is kind of just humming along to the essential parts of the melody. So let's hum along to the old Salt Creek in this arrangement. So it's going to sound like this. Bo -do 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 Okay. So as you can see, it's not exactly the same every time because that's not how life operates except when it does, but that's just not how we're teaching it right now. We're going to teach it 90%, 95% one way, and then there's going to be room for it to breathe and grow and your creativity will kind of direct your motion with regard to that. No one can play like anybody else exactly, unless you're a computer or you're a robot cyborg mandolin machine, and that's very unusual. So the first little line of this is a kind of a staggered Monroe 16th thing. And you can kind of put the, put the backbeat chug in there or not. And when I say backbeat chug, you know, you might know what I mean by the... And this is kind of a, a pulsing rhythm that replicates or imitates, tries to imitate the fiddle shuffle, right? A lot of y'all probably know that. You can kind of identify that because it's the same place where you play your off beats for your, your rhythm chop. So if you can take that rhythm and put it into your lead, so for instance, if you just stop playing your left hand and you keep playing your right hand and then you use that rhythm to play your lead. Okay, you'll hear Monroe do that a little bit. You hear Sam Bush do that a good bit. And it's to put that rhythm in there. It really locks with the band well and it creates the kind of like, uh, you know, energy that you want to move to. Okay, so let's look at this first line. All right, one more time. 